this 10.9 acre land was allotted for the multi-purpose park in the late 1980s to serve the recreational needs of children here in Kumasi and other parts of the Ashanti region. But today, the children's park is a den of crime. Just a week ago, a 31-year-old employee of Dillard Finance was stabbed to death right here on this pavement. He was robbed of his backpack, mobile phones, and other valuables. Indeed, this is a worrying situation, especially for residents and people who are applying their trade around the children's park. Let's get to speak to some of them to understand their real concerns. As a children's park there, na hat me I say, you say no how you be a sorry. Like we've been called nam the road of a unicorn osho foolish I because of um the no messy see what uh Bohony a cool ya to any rob robins near the other day, even you crano. You say a man boys and a cra but not in her because of sour mo drugs say you know more no and no my cost for her and yet bad. Then come in quandia me suggestion is a gas been pen form or can be a eh you know omra omra who nessa even got some in my contact. Nanka nipano and as a nipa and a fence copy the mamma grano a be busy say. Uh, how about we sell uh, lot uh, pack? So now at least you know you the oh you the uh, 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 education facilities. I be go up every day. Now any be ano we can go ano. Kula ngo any be be ako go ano. Omo timbe chwa get proceed. I do come. I go go enjoy mo. I no mumba be ma how go more attractive to to say. What is the major concern of you trading around the children's park? Well, our major concern is this place is a huge place that the government can do something about it because it is not easy here. It is there is no single night that we've not heard a scream, help, help, help here because people have been snatching people's back. If you snatch the bag and you just go crying, it is good. They have been snubbing people with knives. Even just three days ago, they just killed a certain guy here. It is something the police are passing here every day, siren, 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 but they don't do anything about it. So for you, what do you think can be done to salvage the situation? Well, I think the police should come in because it is the police that is protecting us and the government too should come in. The president of Ghana should come in to solve this problem out because it is not easy here at all. It's not easy. So for, for most of these traders here, the concern is for the police to come in to help make the situation better. But the real problem is putting this children's park in shape. Let's now get in there to see what facilities are available at this park. In spite of its proximity to the irritating hoods from vehicular traffic on the main Take Edum Highway, the Children's Park here at Amekum is a serene, greeny environment for social pleasure and leisure raising. Here at the park, there is a playground, a library, and a toilet facility. But they've been left to deteriorate over the past years. The only children's library in Kumase, named after the late Asante Hema, has been left to deteriorate. The roofs are ripping off and the building is almost collapsing. Some other structures are serving the interest of religious groups and people who loiter around. And you wonder what might have been involved in renting these structures out. This monument is dedicated to the children of Ghana. May they grow to be useful citizens in the fear of the Lord. These words boldly engraved in the marbled Ghana map Underneath this sculpture of a breastfeeding mother summarizes the import of establishing the children's park here in Kumase. The Kumase Metropolitan Assembly commissioned the Ratu Park in 2015 as an amusement and recreational park. But access to the facility comes at a cost most young people may be challenged in paying. Now, the Kumasi City Mall is also the current attraction for young people in search of places of amusement. Yet, the Children's Park is being left 
to rot. It is the hope that this enclave will be put to shape to support the holistic child development instead of being a hub of crime. Kofi Edudumfe, TV3 News, Amekom Kumase.